review the visit as an acknowledgement and more importantly, an appreciation of the close ties of history and culture that unite our two peoples. We are confident, therefore, that the visit will be marked by fruitful dialogue and exchanges that will serve to strengthen the close relations that exist. The April 8-9, 2015 state visit by President Barack Obama marks the second time that a sitting U.S. president has visited independent Jamaica. The first being Ronald Reagan's visit to the island back in 1982. Both reinforce the close and productive relations between the United States and Jamaica. Get the facts on this mutually beneficial relationship. On August 6, 1962, newly independent Jamaica established diplomatic ties with the United States of America, formalizing a historic link of mutual friendship and economic engagement. As a result, each country maintains an embassy in the other's capital city, helmed by an ambassador who serves as their nation's diplomatic representative. The Jamaican government also maintains two consulates in Florida and New York City. A key aspect of Jamaica's diplomatic relationship with the United States is in the area of national security. As part of that, the U.S. has recognized Jamaica as a strong and faithful partner in the fight against the inflow of drugs into America. To support that, the U.S. has provided financial and technical assistance to enhance Jamaica's port and border security measures and to increase the island's counter-narcotics and counter-terrorism capabilities. In addition to regular bilateral assistance funding, Jamaica also gets assistance under the Caribbean Basin Security Initiative, which is aimed at combating the drug trade and other transnational crimes that threaten regional security. Both countries also engaged through the 1997 U.S.-Jamaica Maritime Counter-Narcotics Cooperation Agreement, also known as the Ship Rider Agreement. It was amended in February 2014 for further cooperation in deterring the movement of illicit drugs through Jamaican territorial waters from South America to the United States. The U.S. also has an airbase in Jamaica at Vernon Field in Clarendon, created during the Second World War. The United States is Jamaica's most important trading partner. Under the Caribbean Basin Trade Partnership Act and other trade measures, over 80% of Jamaican exports enter the U.S. market duty-free. Popular goods exported to the U.S. include alumina, bauxite, sugar, banana, rum, coffee, yam, and more. Jamaica, in turn, has been an important destination for U.S. investment, with more than 80 U.S. firms having offices in the country, while hundreds of other U.S. firms sell their products through local distributors. Both countries also have an investment treaty and a double taxation agreement. And with remittances being one of the highest contributors to the Jamaican GDP, a significant portion of this comes annually from the Jamaican diaspora residing in the U.S. Jamaica is one of the most popular destinations for American tourists. Each year, over a million U.S. citizens pay stopover visits to Jamaica. This is critical to the approximately 8% GDP contribution that tourism makes to the Jamaican economy. The United States provides key assistance to Jamaica in several other areas. These include climate change, education, health and other social outreach programs. Entities such as the United States Agency for International Development have given millions of dollars annually in funding support. And the U.S. has had a Peace Corps program in Jamaica since 1962. Volunteers work in a range of social, economic and disaster mitigation projects, among others. The context in which this historic visit will occur, it has political, economic, cultural and historical significance. We regard the visit, therefore, as an affirmation of Jamaica's role and position as a responsible member of the hemispheric family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 